This video is brought to you by my awesome sponsors. Make sure to check out the affiliate links in the description below. Thanks again for all the support. Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Matt and welcome to Forza Motorsport 7. Now, we are a month and a half out from Forza Motorsport. So I wanted to take some time here and kind of go over some of the things that I'm excited for and some of the things that I'm maybe not so excited for. Point number one that I'm excited for is the new physics engine because allegedly built from the ground up We've heard that phrase a million times and we'll hear it a million more, but brand new physics engine, meaning new tire wear, new wearing in of the track, uh, new weathering, and so much more. And I'm very excited for all that, being able to really see how weather impacts the track more. It's gonna feel a lot more like Gran Turismo then it will feel like a previous Forza game is the hope at the very least. Again, Gran Turismo has had amazing physics, amazing weather, all sorts of stuff. So again, I'm just really holding out for that. Of course, the other thing I'm excited for is the very obvious brand new graphics, allegedly. So again, another thing that's been built up from the ground up. But can we necessarily say it has? They say that of their car list that every one of them has been re-scanned into the rest of it but uh, in previous trailers we've seen a couple of times uh, some Forza Aero parts and some cars that definitely look like that they are lacking in the quality department so again I'm just really 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 hoping that we've just seen some alpha build shots and just not really much anything of um I'm gonna let this guy go by because I am not just driving all that well right now so yeah I'm just hoping that they actually did do what they say because I'm going to get really frustrated with turn 10 and they've said at nauseum that they've built everything from the ground up and then just previously reused assets over and over and over and over and over again But there again, let's be real. If you've had seven years since your previous game and you say nothing has been built from the ground up, people are going to question why it's taking you seven years. So I really hope that they are being a little bit slightly truthful in stating that their graphics at the very least have been uh, rebuilt somewhat. So considering that it's been a whole seven years since the previous Forza game, like I said, I'm not walking into this completely like here turn 10 in Microsoft and Xbox. Take my money. I am going to be completely blindlessly, hopefully waltzing into the best racing game ever. No, no, it is going to be very much so a cautious optimism on release. We are getting what appears to be only 20 tracks and that appears to be cut from basically in half from what this game, Forza Motorsport 7, has. And some of these big names are cut completely. We don't have Monza. We don't have Brands Hatch. We don't have the Circuit of the Americas. We don't have Daytona. We don't have the Dubai Circuit. We don't have... Well, Dubai, fine. We don't have Hockenheim, but to be honest, not a lot of games are having Hockenheim these days, and that makes me very sad because it was probably one of the first racetracks that really got me into racing. I was with Grid Autosport, but anyway, that's a different day. Uh, no Lawn Beach. No Nürburgring. That's a huge one. Says that it is coming in uh, Spring 24. Okay, fine. So we are getting it eventually. No Prague. No Rio de Janeiro. No Sebring, no Road Atlanta, no Yas Marina Circuit. So, I mean, some absolutely massive names are missing, and it's all in the hope that the graphic fidelity and them taking the time that they need over seven years to perfect the few 20 tracks that we did actually happen to get. I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm hoping that it's enough, but it's not looking good right now. It's I'm, it's really not. One of the things that I am hopeful for is the career mode. It looks like it is based loosely off of Forza Motorsport 7s, which I actually didn't mind all that much, where you kind of take like a single car and you go through a number of races in a series and a cup challenge. And in this version of Forza Motorsport, it is going to be a little bit different because you start out with basically a bone stock car and with through driver levels, you acquire points. And when you acquire more points, you can use those points to upgrade your car. If, for instance, you liked a turbocharger and then later on you're like, nah, maybe not. You can actually refund that part, buy a new part, like a new ECU, and hopefully still have some credits left over. So a very interesting idea that doesn't use like your standard currency, but uses like a level point system. So the better you drive, the more points you're going to get. All oh, that's really cool in my mind. So here's hoping that uh, that works out. One other thing that I'm hopeful for is with the brand new, just kind of uh, physics and graphics and everything. I'm hopeful that we're going to get better. This is going to sound odd, better optimization, because I'm going to say kind of something odd here. I have a 3070 Ti graphics card. This game is running at 1080p medium, and I've got the weirdest stutter going on in this footage right now, and I'm not sure what exactly it is. But when I had a 2060 Super, this game actually ran smoother with it. And after trying who knows how many times tonight to really get good graphics, I've got a weird input lag and I've got these just weird graphics. I'm just trying to figure out what all is going on. So I'm hoping that it's just my computer that I can fix and post or something. But if it's something that's happened to this game over this time, since I've last played it, I am rather confused and concerned. But it looks like, uh, according to the recommended graphics table, it is going to be a powerhouse of a game, especially if you're pushing ray tracing. And that's something else I'm kind of hopeful for, is that I hope to attempt to try out some of these ray tracing visuals with my 3070 Ti when that all comes to fruition. I'm also hopeful that we continue getting, you know, more wheel support and more wheel updates and whatnot. It seems like the entire Fnatic system, from what I can tell, is going to be included, so I'm very happy for that. So I just really hope that uh, Fnatic doesn't just forget to update the drivers and stuff. So one of the other things that I'm looking forward to that I'm hopeful for is I'm hoping that Turn 10 Studios does something revolutionary with their game. Whether it be how their campaign works or how their multiplayer works. It seems like as far as the multiplayer goes, I'm actually very excited to hear about how they're going to be policing kind of like penalties and that kind of stuff. I am like, it sounds like that they've taken into account more than a thousand different situations and it's an ever modular system where they can adjust and they can add they can subtract and their ai is some of the most completely revamped ai that we've ever seen yet and i'm hoping to god that that's what they've taken so much time in because the drivatar ai like it's a unique idea but the if you're using my yeah oh for example if you're using that guy's ai in a race or mine we have a huge problem because they would just their ai in other people's races would start crashing other drivers out which is not cool so all that being said, the main things that I'm looking forward to, brand new graphics, brand new physics engine, completely revamped AI, new penalty system, and generally just some hope that there is something new and revolutionary. And the main reason why I suggest this 
is I want there to be some competition that makes Bliffany Digital with Gran Turismo really take a look at themselves and go, oh crap, I can't believe we didn't think of that. We should really do X, Y, or Z. Because as of right now, Bliffany is just kind of taking a hold of the crown of, you know, the console sim racer. And I get the feeling they're starting to rest on their laurels a little bit. There are some things that they really should change but just really haven't had any much of a reason to at the moment. So I'm hoping that Turn 10 really makes a great game because this is just abysmal at the moment. So if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We've got a lot more stuff coming on up here, and thank God it's not Forza Motorsport 7 anymore. I don't know what happened. I don't know what if it's my computer or my wheel or something, but it's just performing like crap and i can't wait to uninstall this and install forza motorsports so again thanks so much for watching hope you guys have a great day today take care bye